bright and it's early. Um, hope you're all well. Thanks as always for uh, joining me and for stopping by. It is appreciated. Um, it's the weekend. It's the weekend after my group dig in Bosworth, uh, which was amazing. So if you've seen those videos already, um, hope you enjoyed them. Uh, something very different for me, never done that before. Uh, but absolutely loved it, as you can probably tell from the two videos. Um, and all through the week, we've been seeing um, what people found on uh, uh, through the Facebook group. Uh, and there's been lots of really great finds. So I think most people found good stuff and I think everybody enjoyed it. So uh, hopefully we'll be doing some more. Uh, today, as I say, it's the weekend. It's going to be warm, but we have got possibility of showers still. We had a lot of rain in the UK. It uh, doesn't seem to be letting off, but uh, we've got a window of weather. As you can see next to me, everything is long. It, uh, you know, it's amazing weather for farmers, of course, all this sunshine and showers, but it's a, a nightmare for detect us detectorists because, of course, everything is in full growth. Uh, everything is very long. So it's really a case today of uh, the search for the short grass. Uh, so I'm walking. Uh, to the very furthest field, on my permission, it's quite a big permission, it's 110 acres. Um, so it takes me a little while, um, and then when I get to the end, we'll start walking back, and basically it's just going to be a search for anything short. So there might be little patches of kind of poor growth, there might be little patches of uh, kind of round the corners and edges and ploughs and that kind of stuff. So uh, we'll see. Um, hopefully, you never know, the farmer might even have done something that will help me, so we'll find out. Um, just quickly before I go and get you to the first hole, <coughs> excuse me, um, a massive thank you. Uh, as of this morning, I'd, I'd breached, I'd gone over my 300 subscriber uh, goal, if you like. I um, haven't done a giveaway this time. I did quite a big giveaway uh, at 200, um, which was really great, really successful. Um, and 300 has come around so quickly. Um, what I'll probably do is I'll, I'll save it, save it for uh, the next milestone, 400 or whatever. So uh, we'll see. But um, yeah, thanks as always. Here we go. <coughs> Another field in growth. Yeah, it won't be much longer before we start taking the crops away. But uh, for now, let's see if we can find something short. See you in a bit. Right, so that's what we found. So at the very, very far corner of my permission, which is by my little sheep's uh, paddock, which if you've seen in previous videos, is just through those trees there. That's still far too long. The sheep have been rubbish. Um, but this has been, as you can probably see, has been cut fairly recently. Uh, this is the side of the Tudor field. The Tudor field is the growth there. Um, so this is the gap in the, basically between the footpath and the, and the field. Uh, I think it was pretty short, but he's obviously extended that cut uh, since I was last here a couple of weeks ago. It's not too long either, so uh, that's what we're going for. Um, the first one, very first hole, was in the 40s uh, and jumping around a bit into the 50s. I can see it's green. I don't think it's anything. Let's have a look together. I don't know though. Hmm. Is it some sort of tag? Oh no. Oh, that is quite interesting actually. That is quite interesting, it's got some points at the end, so, hmm. Okay, let's give it a quick clean, see what it is. Well, that could be a very good find for the first one of the day. Look at that. Quite a bit of detail, sorry. See that? Lots of little holes on the top. That, I think, is a ring. And I think that's a very old ring, actually. Just from the colour. Obviously, it's not precious metal. But those little holes, the way it looks and feels, and I think that is broke at the bottom there. So I think that would have been joined up. Oh, wow, that's amazing. If it's what I'm thinking of, I could be completely wrong, of course. Go away, fly. Um, yeah, iffy signal, but that is very, very special, I think. 
yeah wow exciting right if you know what it is let me know but i think that's a ring i really do cool see you in a bit Right, next one. I'm still buzzing. I'm pretty sure that is a ring, you know. That's um, that's amazing. Um, about another 30 feet on, I mate. I guess 30, 40 feet. Uh, got another 50s tone. Actually, a nicer tone than the first one. But you watch. This will be cat. You wait. See if we can find it together. That's a button. All right, let's have a look. Is it a button? Yeah, it feels like a button. Feels like a button. Yeah, I'll give it a quick clean. If there's anything on there that's exciting, I'll let you know. Failing that, I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, oh, nuts. Mickey Mouse again, or a wing nut, you decide, and a sheep. Next one, um, still on my first row, I've had a, a great start. Um, by the way, I, I've stayed on field um, on the Simplex. Uh, if you've seen the Bosworth group dig videos, um, you'll have seen that I switched from part one to field to try and give me a bit more depth with the longer grass, and got on really well with it. I actually started to really enjoy it by the end, so um, although I've always used part one predominantly, so I've stayed on field and um, so far it's um, proving okay. Uh, something there, look, I don't know if you can see it. Um, it was in the 30s and 50s, but it was it was jumpy. Hmm. I reckon that's part of a buckle, actually. I reckon that's the middle arm of a buckle. See what I mean? So that's the middle arm going across there and then the buckle would have gone around the outside. Pretty sure that is. Yeah. Got a bit of silver into it as well, so that would make sense as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm going to go buckle with that one. Unless you know any different, let me know. <sighs> Sorry, just keep blowing all the bloody horse flies away. Right, see you in the next one. Right, for this next one, uh, absolutely gorgeous signal. Um, 70, 71. Um, really nice tone. Feels like the kind of tone I'd get for a coin. That's why we're going to find out what it is together, he says. Um and I'm pretty sure it's here somewhere. Move it back a bit, that's better. Oh, it's here somewhere. Something green there. Oh, that's not a coin. That is not a coin. Right, let's see what we've got. We've got another party fact, do you think? <laughs> Curse of the live reveal. Blooming flies. Um, yeah, I think that's another part of another wing nut, you know. <laughs> I think it's very green. You can see that, very green. But yeah, I don't think it's anything particular. It's like that snapped off that end, if you see what I mean. Maybe that, that wing goes on the, on the other side as well. Oh well, righto, let's move on. Isn't that Sod's Law, <laughs> the very next hole, which is no more than about 15 foot from where the previous hole was. <clears throat> you won't see it because I've, I've put the hole back very well, as I always do. Um, yeah, was, didn't bother putting you through what we went through on the last hole. Uh, same kind of tone, same kind of signal. Um, and then we've got something green and round, but I don't think it's a coin. It looks too thick. So let's turn it over together and have a look what we've got. Ooh. Oh, that's a buckle, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, a little D buckle. Oh, I think that's the first D buckle I've ever found. In fact, I'm certain it is. It's not snapped off, is it? No, I don't think so. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I do love a buckle. Got no problem with that at all. Amazing. Excellent. Stupendous. Okay, so... That's where I'm going to stop, just up here, for a coffee break. That is where I've come from, right down the end there, 
where these kind of two trees are that's where i started so it's quite a trek it's quite a big field this one um yeah but what a good first run i mean we've had lots of really great stuff and then something else really interesting i wasn't going to bother filming it so it's, it's just a bit of lead i thought and it is just a bit of lead but it's got a very flat bottom wish we did wish i had um and yeah that looks like it's been squished in at the top so that 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 almost looks like a little lead container you see what i mean a little lead cup very small i mean it's only what just over a width of a finger any ideas let me know it, it's, it's really it's not just a bit of lead it's 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 very flat it's very round at the bottom and that looks like that top's been squished in so i, I honestly think that was either the top of something or to hold a little something. I don't know. Any ideas? Let me know. Right, we're nearly there. <clears throat> Coffee time in a sec. But another curious lump of lead. Uh, if you can see that, okay. Um, quite thick and then kind of tapers off. It's like almost probably been snapped, I don't know. But yeah, would have been disc-like, I think, and quite thick. So I reckon that's part of an old weight <clears throat> that happens to be broken. Um, I did find a weight um, further over uh, which, with a bit broken off it, but a bigger bit. Um, but I don't think that, that matches up because I think it's too, the colour's wrong. But and nonetheless, sorry, um, yeah, another interesting bit of lead and more flies blow, blowing around me. Okay, coffee time. Right, I've had quite a few bits of lead on my next, uh, my next pass from kind of, that's where I had my coffee, kind of down here. And that's where I started up the side of that dead grass, well, the cut grass, and then I've come back here. Um, so I've had about five or six different kind of weird, wonderful bits of lead, you know, kind of scrap. Um, turn this one over. Didn't even, even need my pinpointer. It literally, as I turned it over, it fell out. Hopefully you can just see it there. From my naked eye, from a, a little way away, that looks thimble-like to me. Very small. Is it? A thimble. Yes, I th think. Ooh, lovely. Little one. Very little one. Um, squished, as you can see. Let me give that a quick clean. Back in a sec. Ooh, I'm having a cracking day. Yeah, hopefully you can see that. It's a lovely green thimble. Don't mind finding them at all. And that's quite diddy. That is quite small. So I reckon that's quite old, actually. Yeah, lovely. Very, very happy with that as well. Okay, let's move on. Right, next one. I just stopped for a little drink. It's getting really warm now. I might have to put some suntan lotion on in a minute. Let's just get you out of the shower. Shower? <laughs> Shadow, even. <laughs> Not in the shower. Um, right, next one. Another really good signal in the 50s, 60s again, a bit jumpy, but I can see something green. I don't know if you can, it's very bright. Just there, look. All right, let's see what we got. What's that, a rivet? Is that a rivet? What's that? Ooh. Pick it up, Marcus. Oh, hello. Hang on. Oh, is that another ring? With a stone in it. Oh my days. No, it can't be, can it? Do you know what I think that is? I think that is. That's a stone. That's a red stone, I think. Or something. And then obviously it's another brass or copper or something. Bronze. Ooh, that's very exciting. Right, okay. Let's give it a clean. Back in a sec. Oh my days look at the state of that wow i know it's not gold but look at it look at it that is a lovely bright red stone glass or whatever it is oh, it's a shame the sun's gone and it doesn't do it justice but that is absolutely brilliant with all the nice intricate and a rope design around the around the outside of the stone definitely a ring i think 
although there's a little hole there you can see that I just kind of bent that back out a little bit I don't want to bend it anymore I'm scared it will break um, just to get the mud out sorry it keeps going out of focus sounds because the sun's coming back out again oh my word that is absolutely incredible and then on the other side let me just flip it over yeah that's all obviously curled round under there look which I'm not even going to attempt to try and get out holy moly that is absolutely stunning I think I've already found one ring which was by the way so I'm coming back on my sweep um, about there so not far away probably 50 foot away no, 30 40 meters something like that I don't know oh my goodness me that is gorgeous sorry I just keep I can't stop looking at it I hope you appreciate how good that really looks oh my word that is amazing brilliant right Let's see what else we can find Right, just bumped into the farmer, or one of the farmers. Uh, they're all f safe and well, which is good. Uh, although um, one of them did test positive for coronavirus, so they're currently self-isolating. So they stayed out of my way. So hopefully they're okay, but they're no, uh, nothing to worry about so far. Anyway, um, we're in the 50s. I've got about two hours left. Um, I've got a fair, fair day of it today. It's proper hot, so I'm going to stop now and have, have a bit of lunch. But um, before I do, in the 50s, I reckon that is a button. Uh, oh, no, that's not a button. That is not a button. That is a token. That is, a, in my opinion, a medieval lead token. Oh, what a day I'm having. Oh, my God, it's unbelievable. Well, you just got to embrace it. I might be here for hours yet. <laughs> that is amazing. Days like this don't come around very often. Wow, let's just give it a quick clean up. Hopefully you can see that all right. It's getting very hot, very bright. Yep, happy days. Can't go wrong with that, can you? Right, time for some refreshments. Oh, it's getting warm now. I've just stopped, had some coffee. I've had some lemon squash. I've had some crisps and a biscuit. And I'm good to go again, but it is warm. So I've also put some suntan lotion on. Anyway, you don't need to worry about that. And I'm sure you're not worried about it. What you might like to see, of course, is that. Could that be? Up in the 70s, it was a good tone, good signal. Uh, could that be the first coin of the day? Could it be? Or is it a button? No, that's definitely a coin. That is definitely a coin. All right, I'm not going to start um, rubbing it yet. Rather, I'm just going to spray it and see what comes up in case. I don't know. It's thick, so I think that's quite old as a George, I reckon. An early George. Let's have a quick look. Uh, that's a shame. Blankety blank, unfortunately. But it is a coin. And any day with a coin is a decent day, isn't it, I suppose? I don't find a huge amount of coins on this particular part of the permission, so. Yeah, well, it's a coin, but we'll never know. I reckon that's a George half penny, I reckon. But uh, too far gone. See you in the next one. Okay, so not sure how much more I'm gonna be doing. Uh, it's getting on a bit now, so I've gotta be back by three o'clock. I think it's nearly, nearly two. Uh, so I reckon I'm probably, I've done all of that side. And I'm now working on this side, but I've got at least two, one up, one back, possibly three, depending on the width. Um, and then I've got that side right up to the crop. So I'm coming back tomorrow. So I think this is exactly where I shall come. Uh, so I, what I'm probably gonna do, the exit is that way. So I'm gonna go up this end to the left here, and then I'm gonna head back to the car. So see what we find. Anyway, um, found one in the 30s and 40s again. I thought it was gonna be lead, but it looks, it might be rolled up lead don't know let's have a look together okay Ooh. it's got some writing on it what is that it's like a little cone 
don't know if you can see that. I'm sure that says AB on there. Oh, that's very interesting. I've no idea, but that's interesting. Right, let's give it a quick clean. Well, still not really any wiser. Um, I'm presuming that's a little toy of some description. It's got a little bit of rust to it on that side there. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, just there, look. So something maybe... Yeah, very, very strange. Um, so you can see that. I think it's got A, B, possibly C on it. Um, dropped it again. Hard to hold with these gloves. Um, yeah, not sure. If you've got any ideas, let me know. But I suspect that's a little toy or part of a toy, maybe. We'll have a proper look when I get back home. All right, hopefully see you for another one or two at least. Uh, but let's start making on the homeward track. Nearly there now. Very hot and warm. There you go. It's a finial of a nubbin of a thingy, isn't it? Tiny. Presume that went on the end of something. But I don't know what. Interesting though, another little party fact. Hopefully see you for one or two more. If not, we'll see you back at the roundup. Almost certainly the last one now. I'm right on the corner and a lovely way to end. I've had so much lead today. I cannot tell you, you'll see on the roundup. Obviously I haven't filmed it. I've had so much just kind of random bits of lead. It's untrue. Uh, my bag weighs an absolute ton, uh, but all good. You know, that shows that there's stuff going on and just, uh, you know, I'm more than happy when you get the good bits of lead. Uh, and that's a good bit of lead in, in my book. That's a little pistol shot. So I'm always happy to find one of those little bad boys. Right, I think that is pretty much it now. So I'm there on the kind of path and I'm going to start heading home now. So uh, might have a little chat on the way back once I get in the shade. Failing that, I'll see you, uh, see you soon. Oh, I'm pooped. I am really shattered. Wow. It's turned hot, a lot hotter than I was expecting actually. But uh, what a day, what a day. I am stunned actually with just, you know, that small bit of cut area down the side of the Tudor field and just the amount of targets I hit. Um, bearing in mind, I switched over to field now. So I don't know whether that's something to do with it. Maybe I'm just getting a bit deeper because a lot of them were quite deep. Maybe on part one on the simplex, maybe I was just missing them because I'm sure I've been over at least some of that before. So, uh, but we have also had a heck of a lot of rain. So it could be that the, the moist ground is doing me some favors. So uh, uh, I'm coming back tomorrow. I've got two days. Um, Mrs. Marcus is not about tomorrow. So I've got a free pass. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna come back tomorrow and uh, try and finish that, that side bit off. I've also on my way back, found two or three other cut areas as well. So. Uh, yeah, depending on how well the day goes tomorrow, I might even try some of those. But yeah, amazing. A uh, couple of rings, which I never thought I'd find. Um, yeah, and one of them very special with that red stone. So I think they're both old. So um, we'll try and find out that lovely lead uh, token. Uh, we found, what else did we found? We found the buckle, we found the thimble, we found a blank coin. Oh, loads of stuff and a, about eight tons of lead as I'm walking with a bit of a limp because uh, of the weight in my uh, in my finds bag. Anyway, so I'm nearly back to the car. That was amazing. Don't know, I haven't had many days like that before. So uh, I look forward to seeing you on the roundup. As always, thanks for joining me. Good morning. So it's the morning after the day before in true Notch to 11 fashion. Um, wow, <laughs> look at that. That is a slate full of finds. And um, if you think that 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 patch of cut grass on the side of the Tudor field um, is not, I mean, it's a long piece of grass, but it's its not massive by any stroke of the imagination. So uh, the targets I found on there were, were just something incredible. Uh, this is not everything either. There's four or five other bits of iron and and junk that I, I picked up that I, um, I've put straight in the recycling. So, uh, yeah, I mean, let's run through it. Um, I, I think I mentioned a couple of times on the video, I didn't film, obviously, all of these for obvious reasons you'd still be watching it an hour later um, but down here uh, including the nice bits of lead uh, 28 pieces of lead I, I dug up yesterday uh, so no wonder I was walking with a limp by the end of the day um, they all weighs a ton 
um, all various shapes and sizes. Um, in terms of a, a couple of ones to point out, uh, this one here, um, that was one I got quite early on. It's definitely for something. If anyone's got any ideas, let me know because for obvious reasons, it's, it's obviously been molded to have that void. So I don't know whether it went over the top of something or whether it was meant to hold something. But uh, yeah, it was full of mud. I kind of opened it up a little bit just to get the mud out, but you get the drift. So I'm not sure on that one. Um, again, this one, massive. Don't think I filmed that. Nice and thick, definitely lead. Don't, it's not a palm guard, I'm pretty sure, but it's obviously it was obviously used for something. This one here, um, I think that might be a little bit of a pot mend. I'm not sure. Um, any ideas, let me know. Or it might just be a bit of molten scrap. And then that's the other bit, which again, I think was probably part of a weight um, at some point in time. Um, so yeah, so they're the kind of the, the random bits of lead, um, just the normal um, kind of screws and bits of metal, a whole wing nut and a part of a wing nut. That was definitely part of a wing nut. Various other bits and bobs. That's that little finial thing. Again, not sure. Um, these two bits came out of holes next to each other. Don't think I filmed those. Um, I thought they were just random bits of metal until I got them home and cleaned them. I think they came off the same decoration, whatever that was. Uh, three, six, seven buttons, uh, all pretty much blank, except that one, which was very crusty, which I found early on. Uh, I think that's an old naval button, but it's pretty much gone. Two bits of buckle. Uh, again, that one I don't think I filmed. I think I filmed the first one. That's definitely part of a buckle, so that's pretty cool. And then top row. Um, bit of pottery, just thought I'd show you that one. Uh, that's got bamboo. I think that's a pattern. The bamboo is a pattern from my days gone by when I used to do a bit of uh, buying and selling of pottery. Um, so that would have been um, a nice piece at some point, probably a plate or something like that. Uh, a blank coin, absolutely nothing on it. I, it's thick and it's heavy, so I think it's probably an early George. A um, little disc of lead. Again, not sure. Uh, pistol shot, sorry. Um, this one here, run, I'm rattling through, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, that definitely says ABC on there. I'm wondering if that was a little toy or part of a little toy set, maybe a farming set or something like that. Uh, maybe it's a milk churn or something, I don't know. But yeah, quite interesting. Uh, come back to these two in a second. Uh, that's the, the lead uh, farming token. That's what, it is. that's what I think it is. Lovely, really like that. We found um, a thimble and a bit. Uh, again, didn't film the bit because I didn't think it was anything to, to write home about until I cleaned it. But that's quite nice. Don't mind a thimble, do we, Lee? Um, and then that one there is a tiny bit. Again, quite interesting. And then my little D-buckle, which is a, almost certainly the first D-buckle I found. So I don't know what age that is. I'm going to have a look at that a bit later. Um, and then last but by no means least, the two rings. Um, the, the Tinternet confirmed that that is definitely a ring. Um, as you can see now, we've got in a bit of better light. Um, definitely a design across. I think that probably had stone, little bits of glass or stones in um, when it was in its um, true form. Obviously quite bent and snapped, but yeah, really interesting. Varying degrees of suggestions online. Some saying it's as old as Roman. Some saying it's as new as the kind of 1600s, 1700s. But, but either way, wicked. I'm very, very pleased with that. And then last, but by no means least, um, this little bad boy. Um, again, varying opinions online, as there always are. Um, no idea myself. Uh, it's lovely. It's got that glass or stone or whatever it is. L nice little rope overlay or, or kind of outline to the, gra to the glass. Um, I guess the only thing that worries me is the little hole. You know, it's like almost like a belt um, at the back. Um, so I don't know how old that is at all. It's got a little bit of weight to it, to be fair. Um, but yeah, whatever it is, however old it is, it's a it's a thing of beauty, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to let the flow know, just in case they can idea a bit better than myself and the internet can. But um, yeah, it could be very, very old. Could be quite new. Um, I don't know. So any thoughts on that one, uh, do let me know. Uh, that's it. I'm conscious I'm waffling on. There was a lot to show you. Um, I'm back out again today. So um, obviously you'll see this a week later than when this video, a particular video airs. Uh, but I, I just have to get back to that that field and finish it off, finish off that, that um, cut grass. So hopefully next week, or when you're watching it, uh, you'll see another load of great finds. So 
Um, as always, thanks for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed that. An absolute bumper day on the field. Um, stay cool, and I'll see you on the next one.